if if a woman has birth and she has period, then she has to she has to go through that purification period. Like when she gave birth to Jesus, right? She had to go through that seven days. Right. Yes. She had to go through it. Right. I mean, I, I I know it says there that you have to uh, when when it's birth to semen. Then you have to go to purification. But any woman that gives birth can also go to purification. It doesn't necessarily have to be to semen. Everybody on the planet Earth comes through a man's semen. That's why the scripture says through the seed of David. Yeah. He came through the seed of David. There's no way around it. And then you can read Matthew the first chapter. It gives you all the fathers. Yeah, yeah, it gives it. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But somehow when you get to Mary and Joseph, they disannul Joseph. Nah, nah, it's confusion, man. Why? Because the Bible tells you God not to offer confusion. And only that. And that's what they got there. Joseph and Mary's line. Mary's line is in Luke the third chapter. Luke? Luke. Luke. Third chapter? Yeah. The difference between, well, they're both for Judites. The difference between Joseph and Mary, Mary goes to David and Nathan. Mary goes to David and Nathan? Yeah, her bloodline, her father, goes to David and Nathan. Yeah, Joseph, but I went to David, Solomon. Yeah, he had to go through Solomon, the line of the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't come through David. Nathan was not a king. Yeah. So Matthew, the first chapter is a true genealogy. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. So that's that's the that's the key difference. And then when he go through, like we broke down the spirit, broke yeah. down the seed, broke down the son of David. He also had brothers and sisters. You know that, right? Uh, James. G yeah. And who else? Uh, Jose is matter of fact Mark 6 Mark I think it says in there yeah. No, it, I mean John we, I think it's in John it's, it actually says Jesus brother so they, they make it seem like but Mary why? just never had sex her entire life like why Joseph just had the so now goes back to that cake nigga. yeah I'm trying to put the woman on a pedestal man the Lord in with that okay here we go um, the book of Mark chapter 6 verse 3 Is not the, this the carpenter the son of Mary The brother of James And Joseph And of Judah And Simon And are not the sisters here with us We have brothers and sisters <laughs> So Joseph was getting in yeah. there man You know what I'm saying uh, So they yeah, seem like Mary was so holy And she just never had intercourse in time That's a lie according to the Bible now why why is it that Joseph as you say a single word in the Bible? Huh? You cannot find a single word by Joseph in the Bible. What do you mean by because it is well it's not based on you know his perspective. I mean you about this, John the Baptist. Yeah. He was the greatest prophet after Christ. Yeah. And he has no writings. No no no, but he said he said things in the Bible. Right. Yeah. I mean even when uh, he got his head beheaded, right? Right, right, right. But no, but I'm saying even the Virgin Mary, she, she said something in the Bible. Oh, I'll show sure you what she, she spoke. Said. Give me Matthew 12. No, but Joseph never spoke in the Bible. Nah, the angel talked to Joseph. Remember? Yeah, but he didn't say himself anything, did he? Yeah. 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 Wait, 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 It's not like we saw Joseph is a, uh, a mysterious figure. The angel spoke to him, gave him instructions. He had to go down there to Egypt. Right, it's from Matthew 1 and 20. But while he thought in these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thy son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, wife, Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son that shall call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Now all that was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with a child, and shall be forth a son. I should say he was a just man too. Uh, Matthew 119. As I call his name Emmanuel, which interpreted God's with us. Then Joseph being raised from his sleep, made as the angel of the Lord has been him, and took unto him his wife. And he knew not till she had brought forth his firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Uh, he will keep reading on it, that's what I said. Uh, Luke 2. Mary. Uh, okay. I'll show you what the Lord says to his mother. Get Matthew 12. And 
the Lord from birth with his mother, it was never really happening in life. With who? With, with, with um, Mary. With heaven Foster? It was hardly ever really, like, Why? like he was wanting to really, because get John a second shot though, when he turned one into one. Oh yeah, yeah, the uh, Cana, uh, the marriage of Cana. Yeah, of the marriage. Uh, uh, let's start at verse 1. John 2, 2 and 1. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was born and disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Well, why are you bothering me? That's yeah. what he's telling his mother. Yeah, yeah. Woman, why are you bothering me? My time has not yet yeah, gone. My time has not. So every time he really talks to his mom, was like, Because she was being a nuisance. That's just typical yeah, mothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Because he wanted to do more spiritual things. Yeah. You know what I mean? But she wanted us. You know, that's typical parents. So that's my son. My son could do this and yeah. that. You know, he could make wine, this yeah. and that. He's like, why are you, why are you bothering me? Don't bug me with this foolishness, man. And there's another one in Matthew 12, 45. Uh -huh. uh, Matthew 12 and 45. Uh, yeah, she was really bragging, but because after this, yeah. she said, do everything yeah. he tells you. She didn't even hear what he said. Yeah, he didn't even care what he said. And she said, do everything. He was going to do it anyway. Yeah. She's like, whatever he tell you to do, just do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's typical parents, right? Like, every yeah, parent is bragging about their child. Yeah, yeah. Especially mothers. Let's get yeah. mothers. No matter how old you are, they still look at you as a child. Yeah. Because he was a grown man, 30 years old. He was like, um, uh, and he's like, you're my child as a child. Anyway, what you, what you got? Matthew 12 45. Then go he and take it with himself, seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter his well there. And the last day of that man is worse than the first. Even so it shall be also unto this wicked generation. While he talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood, with, stood without. Yeah, they were waiting for him. Designed to speak with him. They wanted to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brother stand without, desire to speak with thee. Yeah, they say, Your mother and your brother want to talk to you. Yeah. But he answered, said to him, that told him, Who is my mother? And who is my brother? And he stretched out forth his hands for his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brother. He didn't have time for that, man. He said, Who's my mother? Who's my brother? These guys right here, these are my mother and my brother. Those that do the will of the Father. Let's say right now. Yeah. For whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Yeah, that's, so he wasn't no super duper mama boy. Well, nah. that's my mama. I gotta stop guys. I gotta see what my mom wants. He's like, who's my mother? Oh, my brother. brother. My mama. Yeah. Cause she's my favorite girl. <laughs> So the yeah. Lord was a man, man. Yeah, I mean, he expected his mother, but... Loved his mother. But, but, you know, he knew this word from yeah. first. That's right. So I'm saying, he put his mom over this word, man. Uh, that's what he said, what? He that loveth mother and father more than me is not worthy of me. Right. He that cannot say all. Not, meaning, don't mean not, not love your mother, but meaning that if your mother is telling you to do something contrary to what the scriptures are saying, yeah. You're not supposed to respect that. You know what I mean? You know? Like your mom saying, I'm going to cook some pork chops. <laughs> and you want you to eat it. You're supposed to say, no, nah, Ma, that's, that's against the scriptures. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, like my mom, like, I work in a restaurant. She said, oh, you give me those ribs? I want those pork ribs. I get it for anyway. What you want, Mom? Here, Mom. You know what I'm saying? Here, you get them ribs. You know, and shit like that. You know what I mean? But you expect me to cook it. And then you want me to eat it with joint? No, I'm not gonna do that. Or like your brother said anything going to the Bible. You know, like one time I asked I told my mother about a man can have more than one woman. Yeah. She got mad at me. I don't get mad at me. You get mad at Heavenly Father. A woman not supposed to have more than one man. Is it in the Bible? Yeah, it's in the Bible. Find it, let me see. That's the wrong first I got it's in Exodus that the woman is not supposed to have more than one uh, husband. Oh, that's uh, because the uh, that's Jeremiah the third chapter. 
And then a man can have more than one woman. The only way she can have a husband. Another husband is this. Our first husband. She's not dead. Yeah, he gave her a the eyes or the whole blood of the blood of the He gave her the blood of the voice. Yeah. But then, if the, hus if the second husband died or divorced, she can't go back to the first. Yeah. She can't go back oh, to the first, the yeah. But then a, a man can have more than one. More than one. It's right. also in the uh, Deuteronomy. Yeah, it Because women are internal and men are external. Right. Meaning? Because, if, because she deal with you in the Jeremiah the third chapter. The third chapter. <laughs> she deal with you, she got your semen in her. Yeah. I forgot they did a sign to break her out. That was very interesting. Really? Like when you deal with a woman, yeah. it makes sense. When you put your semen in her, yeah. like her body starts to adapt to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Automatically. Yeah. Yeah. Really? And you know what that's like That's why she's too? more into you, this and that. Because, yeah, because you put they, they, no part of yourself in her. Yeah, yeah. And, and not just that, they love the smell of your semen. Yeah. They'll go to me like, what? Like, and then kind of bug me out. She's like, yeah, you should. You're gonna be good. Yeah, <laughs> because this is this educational. This is edify, man. Yeah. You know, you we have to bring it out. We bring it out raw. You have to. There's no shortcuts. No, 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 but, yeah. but that's uh, that's. Oh, amazing. I'm about to put her on black. You know what I mean? She did a in her face. You know what I mean? Uh, like they know anything, the cave woman. Oh, cave woman. No, see, no, no, no. see, don't, don't go there. No, let's, no, let's go, stick, no, 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 let's no, 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 Like, no, okay, like, no, like, okay. Okay, I got it right here. So I like to see that scientific thing. That Jeremiah 3 and 1. Yeah. It says, They say, if a man put away his wife, and she sh and she shall go from him and become another <laughs> man, she shall return unto her again. Look at that woman. Shall not that man. land be greatly polluted? The Bible compares women to land. The earth. Yeah. Because what does a man put in his woman? A semen. Yeah. So she goes to another man and he puts his semen in her. Yeah. The Bible says, isn't that land polluted? A woman is polluted. Yeah, yeah. She got multiple sperm cells flowing inside. That's what the scriptures is going into. Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? That's what the scriptures are saying. That's why she's supposed to have more than one. Um, right. right. That's what the scriptures are going into. She is scringing her face. She probably done had all kind of men yeah. do all kind of wickedness to her, man. Ain't nobody could tell us about these white women. Give me a break. She is scringing her face like. And another thing. What? And another thing, why? Because it. Suppose like, okay, for instance, a man, a woman for the pleasure of man, right? Yeah. That's what we're here for, right? The pleasure of men, right? Yeah. Now, if a man, if a woman's on, um, say, a menstrual cycle, the man really wants, the man, a woman cannot be within, within the same quarters as the man, because she has a cycle. Yeah. She has to put, put away. Yeah. Right? That's when you have another woman to come cook and clean. Whereas for the other baby, you know, a man have children, the woman has to be away. Uh -huh. So the other women got to take up care of the other responsibilities. Uh -huh. That's why there's more women than men on earth. Yeah, yeah. Because we can have more than one wife. Yeah. But only if you can afford them. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You got to treat them equally. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you know, say more than one than the other. Yeah. You got to treat them equally. Like, you know who did that? Jacob. Jacob loved Rebecca. Yeah, but Leah, who was the, who was the, uh, the mother of Benjamin and, um, and Joseph. And Joseph. He loved her more than it. And she said, for the most high, uh, yeah. bearing her womb. Because yeah. he was putting her over Leah. Mm -hmm. The most high had favor on Leah. She, she, had, she had the whole son. <laughs> she had like six sons or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. and they were sisters. You know, they were sisters. So, uh -huh. you know, so it says, tell you, you can have more than one wife. Did um, King Solomon have more than one wife? 700. 700, exactly. And 300. King, so. and, right. Then King David had more than one wife. When King David was on, on his deathbed, then they brought women to him. Yeah, yeah. And he young, young, yeah, young, 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 young woman. But he didn't do anything. But he didn't yeah. stop. But he didn't touch her because why? Yeah. He was on his deathbed. They tried, they tried to cheer him up. Yeah. But he just couldn't. No, he couldn't twist his wedding no more. Yeah. So it tells you that like this, you can have more than one woman. But okay, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not expedient. Yeah, right. right. That means that, and that and these days, that's it's not a lawful. Says, right. Not everything that's a lawful is expedient. Right. It's helpful and useful, but it's not. We will say that again. Not everything that's lawful is expedient. Right. Meaning, that means that yeah. expedient is helpful and useful. Right. Yeah. Not everything that's in the law right now yeah. is for your benefit. Right. Yeah, yeah. And today. Because like having multiple wives, that's not even a thing. Nah, it's because in this society, oh, definitely, definitely, especially underneath the way America is, where they, they give these women all the power. Yeah, it's, it's not expedient. 
Maybe, maybe in the eastern part of the world. No, in Africa. Could, yeah, of course. Easily. Where I come from, it is. Africa, easily. Yeah. Middle East, easily. easily. Yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. problem. But in, in America, that's not easy. And plus, and I just unless, that, unless you were, uh, unless you, like your brother said, you got money. Unless you were Jay Z or. You can have multiple women. And see, these women are hypocrites. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if it's just an average girl like me and you, or oh, I have another woman, she'll have a problem with it. Right. But let you be a Jay Z or, or a basketball star. She don't mind being your second or third girl because you got fame, you got no. money. No. You know what I mean? I don't care if I'm this side piece. I don't care. As long as he give me money and make me out. So they hypocrites, man. That's the main woman. Oh, I don't care what he do because I got the house. Yeah. I got the money. I I, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it all depends on your status. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And plus, they made the law that uh, um, you can't have more than one wife, man. Yes. That's what they tell. That, that, shut, that shut down immediately, man. That's wicked as hell. They gonna pass, you can marry another man. Yeah, yeah. but you can't have more than one woman. Why, why is it the Bible that they object to? 